while stricken eardrums vibrated, but that was no earthquake in San Francisco's Mission District Sunday morning. The tremors erupted from sheer joy across the largely Latino neighborhood as incredulous fans watched Mexico beat Germany in a World Cup soccer match for the first time in at least half a century. Si se pudo, si se pudo, screamed the fans who jammed into the Napertandi Irish bar on 24th Street. Yes we could, yes we could, what Mexico did was defeat the reigning the World Cup champions 1-0 in the first round of the world's most watched sporting event, which takes place every four years. It means we have a shot at everything. Jesus Bravo, 21, shouted just outside the bar as his friend, Josue Garcia, 26, waved a tremendous red, white and green Mexican flag in the middle of the intersection at 24th Street and South Van Ness Avenue. Drivers cheerfully honked their horns in support. Germany has snagged the cup four times since the tournament began in 1930. Mexico never has. It's a Mexican curse, Bravo lamented. But this is a sign of hope. We beat the best team in the world, window, underscore tabula equals window, underscore tabula, underscore tabula, push mode, thumbnails C, container, tabula, interstitial gallery, thumbnails 5, placement, interstitial gallery, thumbnails 5, target, underscore type, mix, underscore tabula, push, flush, true, window, underscore tabula equals window, underscore tabula, underscore tabula, push mode, thumbnails C, container, tabula, interstitial gallery, thumbnails 8, placement, interstitial gallery, thumbnails 8. Target underscore type, mix, underscore tabula, push, flush, true, photo, Rose Aferno, special to the Chronicle Mexico supporters, LR, Edgar Oliver, Angel Godines, Maro HDZ, and Gonzalo Tovar celebrate their team's win over Germany during the World Cup game on Sunday, June 17, 2018. Mexico supporters, LR, Edgar Oliver, Angel Godines, Maro HDZ, and Gonzalo Tovar celebrate their team's win over Germany during the World Cup game on Sunday, June 17, 2018. Photo, Rose Aferno, special to the Chronicle Andy Hart Wright, his wife Paige watches nervously during the World Cup game between Mexico and Germany at Napertandi in San Francisco Mission District on Sunday, June 17, 2018. Andy Hart Wright, his wife Paige watches nervously during the World Cup game between Mexico and Germany at Napper Candy in San Francisco Wall Mission District on Sunday, June 17, 2018. Photo, Rosa Ferno, special to the Chronicle Gustavo Solano watches the World Cup game between Mexico and Germany with friends at Napper Candy in San Francisco Wall Mission District on Sunday, June 17, 2018. Gustavo Solano watches the World Cup game between Mexico and Germany with friends at Nabertandi in San Francisco Wall Mission District on Sunday, June 17, 2018. Photo, Rosa Ferno, special to the Chronicle Goal. Maria Brambilla, standing, celebrates with her friends LR, Daniel Pintos, Marcio Panti, and Melissa Pinto as Mexico scores against Germany during the World Cup on Sunday, June 17, 2018. Goal, Maria Brambilla, standing, celebrates with her friends LR, Daniel Pintos, Marcio Panti, and Melissa Pinto as Mexico scores against Germany during the World Cup on Sunday, June 17, 2018. Photo, Rose Aferno, special to the Chronicle Marvin Mata, supporting Costa Rica and Mexico, reacts while watching the World Cup game between Mexico and Germany at Napertandi in San Francisco's Mission District on Sunday, June 17, 2018. Marvin Mata, supporting Costa Rica and Mexico, reacts while watching the World Cup game between Mexico and Germany at Napertandi in San Francisco's Mission District on Sunday, June 17, 2018. Photo, Rosa Ferno, special to the Chronicle Mexico fans Sandra Hernandez, left and Elizanda Casuana react to a near-miss by their team in the World Cup game against Germany on Sunday, June 17, 2018. Mexico fans Sandra Hernandez, left, and Elizanda Casuana react to a near miss by their team in the World Cup game against Germany on Sunday, June 17, 2018. Photo, Rosa Ferno, special to the Chronicle Mexico's World Cup win thrills fans in San Francisco's Mission District in the bar, patrons watched the game on no fewer than 11 screens, large and larger. 
the score held at 0-0 for much of the first half, as the bar's Irish servers brought steaming plates of bacon and eggs, and bottles of Corona and shots of tequila to wash them down, to tables packed with friends and family praying for a Mexican upset. Then, suddenly, the bar that had merely been loud erupted in screams of joy. People leapt from their seats and raised their fists to the heavens. Woo! Mexico, Mexico, raw, 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 they chanted. Irving Lozano, 22, aka Chucky, had just sent the soccer ball sailing past Germany's Manuel Neuer, and, thwack, into the net Neuer was supposed to be guarding. It was 8.35 a.m. Still in the first half. That left about 45 minutes more for fans of Mexico to anguish at the prospect of Germany stealing their hard-won advantage. Some fans hoped it would happen. Small knots of Germany supporters wearing red, black and yellow set sandwiched between crowds of green-clad Latinos who didn't hesitate to splutter every time the referee made a call they disagreed with. Pendijo. C. Cabrin, they swore merrily en masse at the TV screens, variously describing the referee as sub-intelligent, as a body part found in everyone's nether region and as a male goat. Had the Germany fans been lost when they stumbled into this Mexico-friendly bar? No, it's more fun here, it's why we live in the mission, a molecular biologist named Daniel said in a soft German accent. He and his wife, Nina, also a molecular biologist, sat quietly between two large tables of raucous fans and declined to give their last names. Andy Hart, 57, came from a family whose name used to be Hartsman's Gruber. The former Texas resident and his wife, Paige Hart, 55, were rooting for Germany but said they were delighted to be among devotees of Mexico. Then Andy Hart glanced at the score and admitted, we've got a little work to do. In the end, Mexico owned the day. By beating Germany, they tell the world they belong, said Marvin Mata, 38. It's very important, Nanette Asimov is a San Francisco Chronicle staff writer. Email, nasimov at sfchronicle.com Twitter, at Nanette Asimov.